The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the December 20th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that. And that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Dial on it at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't call in, we've got you covered. You can send me an email. Send that off to steve at tfnn.com. Send it early. And in that subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our tiger's den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We open up the show here with a mixed bag. The mix goes like this. Dow is flat, but really off five points. S&P is flat, but really up four points. NASDAQ's not flat. It's up a little over one-tenth percent, 23 points to the upside, seven-tenths for the Russell. That's a 14-point move. Semis are off 16 points. Trandy's down 73. Gold's off five bucks. Silver's up 30 cents. That's all. Gas is basically flat. Lights we crude is up 90 pennies, 30 your treasuries up four ticks. Leading the charge dollar wise, the upside, you've got micro strategy up 20 bucks. Sia, the freight company up 4% or 18 bucks. Old Dominion up 12 and a half bucks. That's a 3% move. Fact set research up nine bucks. Coinbase is up seven to the downside. It's our Genics down 112 bucks, 25%. Gen Medical down 27 bucks. FedEx is off 30 bucks. That's a 10% move for it. Aon PLC down about $17, 5%. And Costco is off. 12, nearly a 2% move to the downside. So where do we want to begin? Let's begin. Let's begin by taking a look at those daily equity future contracts. We'll switch over to Stevie's white background charts. You'll see those momentarily. And what you'll notice in the upper left-hand corner is the ES Mini. You will see that yesterday was bar number eight. As long as price closes above the close of bar number five today, that's at 47.74. This will confirm a TD nine count top. Now, the pattern will not complete till tomorrow. The high of this pattern can take place, doesn't have to, but it can take place on the bar following bar number nine. First price objective on a move to the Downside is going to be that green line, that oscillator and change line. Current print is 47.77. That number is going to shift as price moves up and down. As we take a look at the NQ, the NQ confirmed a TD9 count pattern yesterday. Today is its completion date. Whatever today's high is, you want to mark that on your calendar. Well, your note of your pad of paper. Yes, it's a bump. Oh my goodness gracious here. Um, that's crazy. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, um, this is a multitasking thing I can't do. Well, I got four minutes here. Okay, so the NQ, uh, watch today's high. If price starts trading above today's high overnight, closes above it tomorrow, the pattern gets negated, and that would then be our signal that these markets are not getting ready to top. Instead, what they're doing is they're getting ready to continue to move higher, likely through about the January 5th or so time frame out there. We don't have proof of that, but that's just something to be looking for. As we take a look at the Dow, the Dow March contract, you can see that today is going to confirm bar number nine. And 
it will confirm bar number nine so long as price closes above that close of bar number five. And that number out there is 37,643. Another level to put, another number to put on your pad of paper. Now, in the case of the ES Mini and the Dow, let's assume that they do confirm their TD9 count tops today. It still can make higher highs tomorrow. It doesn't negate the pattern or anything along those lines. So tomorrow, we'll know to be paying attention to those two contracts, but especially the NQ and how it's trading. The Russell 2000, the nice thing about its rally today is that it has actually gotten to uh, gotten to a wave uh, um, bar number eight. So you can, it can, TD9 counts can form their tops on bar eight, nine, or the bar following bar number nine. So whereas it didn't look like we were going to have the uh, Russell 2000 participate in this TD9 count process, well, that has now shifted. That has changed. That changed this morning out there. Now, this has a couple more days. So this is only bar number eight. Tomorrow's bar price is going to need to close above the close of bar number five. Same thing as what we took a look at. What bar number five's close was on the Russell 2000 was down at 2,540. So note that on your pad of paper as well. Today, the Russell still needs to close above this level. This level being 202250 in order for bar number eight to actually complete out there. So that's what's going on. We take a look at the daily equity future contracts. Now, of course, when we get to topping patterns, what we look for is we look to the intraday charts out there. Those intraday charts, what we're looking for is um, we're looking at the short term time frame charts to give us topping signals as well and then we start looking for levels of support that are broken when we start seeing levels of support that are broken consistently that's the sign that we do have a top for the daily time frame again when we take a look at this set of charts here these are multi time frame charts for the nq we're focusing on the nq why well because the nq is the one that's giving us that confirmed topping signal we take a look at the five hour time frame chart. The five hour time frame chart has a Rosemontum indicator top. The only way that gets negated, it's been tested. The only way it gets negated is a close above 1705575 out there. We don't have that. What we do have is support. So the first key level of support from a uh, pretty decent intraday time frame chart, five hours out there, is 16.937. If price were to close below 16.937, a key level of support will have failed, and that would signal move back to its breakout level, and that's at 16.756. We take a look at the four-hour time frame chart. It um, has triggered wave number seven. It's not present on my uh, uh, system right now. I guess if I update it, it'll probably. Uh, no, it doesn't even show. So it's it's, but it has. Let me just pull this back just a tad. Yeah. So it has entered has entered bar number seven. It's got a rosemontum indicator signal as well. Still no confirmed top there, but it is giving us a sign of a potential top. When we take a look at the two hour time frame chart. What do we have here? When I open this up, looks like its TD9 count top may have been negated. Let me just, oh, it never had the TD9 count top. It never formed an actual topping signal. All that would, took place yesterday was price moved back and tested its bullish structured profile support. That tells you how strong 16.963 is as a level of support for the NQ. Um, so it does have a rosemontum indicator signal triggered. It needs a bearish reversal candle for the uh, two-hour time frame in order to generate a topping pattern. Wave number seven on the 60-minute time frame chart. Uh, price is still above its oscillator and change line, so that says it's really a neutral signal at best, and it's above the top of its profile levels. Only a close below 16.969 at this stage of the game would suggest we could have a change in trend. That would signal price targeting the 16.924 level. We come back from this break. We'll finish looking at the NQ. We'll start taking a look at some of the requests that have come in. Gmail, let's take a look at Microsoft, Jimmy D, ENVX, BYON, and CWH. Of course, I'd like to hear from you as well, folks. 877-927-6648 for Steve at TFNN.com. Tigers, it's the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. 
Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're still taking a look at the charts here for the NQ. Now we're going to go size down to the 10-minute uh, and the 15-minute charts. The reason we are is because they're the ones that have got the topping pattern. So we can see that each of them form TD nine count tops. Right. We are take a look at the daily chart. If you go take a look at the upper left-hand side, you can e each of you that have listened to the show, you know how these uh, topping patterns typically work out there. They don't always identify the top or the bottom, but when they are present, it certainly gets the hair on the back of your neck to stand up. So here's the TD nine count top on the 15-minute time frame. And and the uh, 10 minute. So what we can see here, and when looking at the 10 minute specifically, in fact, I'm going to, since it's, since it's the shorter time frame, we could probably even look at a five minute chart and see if we've got any kind of signal there. But here we can see that when you get a top, it works the same way on a intraday chart as it does on a daily time frame chart. It, we're agnostic to time frame that we're looking at. We're not agnostic to the instrument. All we, all we need is the instrument's uh, price, uh, open, high, low, close. And uh, uh, and a few tools out there, the uh, Rhodes Momentum Indicator Signal, the TD9 Counts, the Chapman Wave Counts assist us as well. Um, here what we can see is that when you get a top, all that it's really authorizing sellers to do is push price back and test support. And here we can see that's exactly what transpired thus far. So if you were short the NQ and you were an intraday trader in a very short-term time frame, a sure, very short-term lease, this is not a very bearish sign out there. Price has done exactly what it's supposed to do. Pull back, test support. Does it break through support? If it breaks through support, then we know we've got uh, something to look at to the short side. If it doesn't break through support, well, support is held. That's what it's supposed to do. Now, at this stage here, the signal for the 10 minute time frame is neutral out there. But if it does close above the uh, high of the day out there, then it tells us about, for the 10 minute time frame chart, a strong upward momentum move. Now, the 15 minute time frame chart, as we look at it, it also has a TD9 count top. It did not make it back to its oscillator and change line. That would have been our fallback position on the 10 minute chart if price had closed below 
uh, the oscillator and change line. It has not done that. It does have a bullish structure profile. So there's two resistance levels in the NQ intraday. If you are trading this, the first is going to be the high of the day. The high of the day out here is at 17073. That's that TD9 count top for both the 10 and 15 minute time frame. We take a look at the new profile that's formed. It's at 17063. Support would be between the 17001 and 17012 level out there for the NQ. So at this stage of the game, you've got some longer term potential topping signals out here but we really need to see the short-term levels fail that's what we have when we take a look at the end you know we can come back take a look at other equity future contracts and things of that sort and we'd be happy to do that but why don't we do this first here why don't i start taking a look at some of the requests that have come in and we'll at least get through those and once we do that, then, no, you know, before I do that, let me just do this here. Let me give you one last uh, piece uh, for uh, some numbers for each of you that you can put down on your pad of paper since we've come this far together. And that's this. So now here is one of uh, the, one of the tools that's included uh, in one form or another inside either the uh, daily edition, the morning edition, or the evening edition out there. And here, what I'm showing now, I've, I've just uh, I've, I've kind of sized this down for show purposes here. But I've got the, if you take a look along the left hand side, you see the different instruments and the categories. I've got the equity futures, which we've basically belabored at this stage. But I've got the index ETFs. I've got the equal weighted ETFs. I didn't put the one up for the Dow. I should. Got the sectors with inside the S&P 500, the magnificent. And seven and the top weighted Dow stocks. The only thing that's not in that top weighted Dow stock would be Microsoft. I can't put two symbols on one uh, column at the same time, so you just have to look up to Microsoft. But that would be your top. Now, those top stocks inside the Dow represent more than 50% of its weighting. So I'm looking for here, I've just focused on the TD9 count since they are prevalent. Now, all of this is as of last night's close out there. So we already have the, the star next to it tells you you've got a confirmed pattern out there. Uh, in the case of the Dow, it's also a confirmed pattern as of this morning out there. But here you can see you've got the SPY, the Qs, the, the diamonds as well. You've got the equal weighted ETF inside the QQEW with inside the sectors, the XLK. So it doesn't have a star here. What that's telling us is you've got bar number eight that completed, but bar eight was not the high of the pattern. So it's got to come today on bar nine or it has to come tomorrow. Otherwise, it can still complete a TD9 count. It's just not one that generates a topping signal that you and I would be looking for. You have the same thing inside the industrials, uh, inside the communication sector. You've got a TD9 count top as well. You can now hear what I've done. I've done this for you. I did this for subscribers this morning. Uh, we didn't have all of these instruments at that stage, but... We were take a look at the progression, kind of like a quarterback out here. So when you get the topping signal, then the most important thing is to understand where our support levels. Well, we already discussed how oftentimes or most times the first level of support on the way down is going to be that oscillator and change line. So I've got that listed here as OUL target. That would be the target to the downside. So in the case of the NQ, it's trading at 17050. That first target, the oscillator and change line, 16848. You can see it's changing second by second. So use that as a guideline. Price closes below that, then it would be profile levels. Is it above the top of a profile? Well, in this case here for the NQ, the answer to that is yes. So you go 16,847 would be one. A level of support, 16,372 is a second level. A third level, 16,088. The fourth level, 16,372. And then the final level would be where price broke out from inside the NQ. So you can go ahead and take a snapshot of this. That's how you would use Mastering Probabilities data with inside its newsletter to assist you with a individual trade. You may take a different trade than I would suggest. That's totally cool. That's the whole purpose of really writing the newsletter is to be able to educate you, provide you with the information, provide you with the data so that you can also take action on your own. So that's what's going on. Overall, we take a look at either the MAG7, the top Dow stocks, the sectors inside the S&P 500, and so on and so forth. Now, the reason I don't have the indices up here is because on the indices, I really don't have useful profile levels. So for the indices, like the Dow, like the uh, NASDAQ 100, we use the futures contract. But we can also use, or you can use, since you may not have access to that, you can also use the index ETFs to try to understand what is being communicated to you. The futures contract is better because we've got more hours of trading out there. And this is really all about pattern recognition, about price discovery and the patterns out there. So the more data, the better off that we are. Okay, so now let's go take a look at the requests that began coming in this morning, the first one from G-Man, and he wants to take a look at Microsoft. Happened to mention Microsoft, so uh, we're going to go take a look at it. Now, what Microsoft is doing out here, G-Man, um, and, and we've discussed this here 
really probably about the last week or so, nothing has changed just yet. And that is a good old fashioned consolidation. And it's a consolidation in right now in between the profile level. So that makes it even easier at support. And we know that it's been tested five times, at least five times or so. Um, uh, in, so the level of support, the area of support is 365 to 366. Now I'm rounding there. It's 365, 16 to be exact, 366, 76 to be exact. Price on my screen shows Microsoft trade at 374, uh, 29. It's actually trade at 374.77. Why is that important? Well, the importance there, G-Man, is that if price does close above the top of its profile, the top of its profile is up at the 374.75 level. Odds then would favor it wants to make a move up to the next resistance area. What we just did here when we took a look at that uh, market analyzer and all those instruments, we went through the progression much like a quarterback might do, you know, if he's got a passing play or whatever the play might be out there. We go through steps of progression. Here, if price is able to close above the top of the profile, again, that level in Microsoft is 374.75, then we look for the next level of resistance. Where is that, I ask you? And the answer is very simple. It's at 378.25 as we speak right now. That's a green oscillator and change line. We'll finish take a look at Microsoft. We'll get back to this break. Then ENVX, BYON, CWH, and MOVE. Ooh. Oh, it looks like we got Napa. Napa Valley and SLCA. We'll be right back. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts. 
while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at uh, Microsoft out here. We just spent a little time on the daily time frame. What we're going to do right now is take a look at the monthly time frame. And there, so the daily time frame has a TD9 cone and Rose momentum indicator top. Again, all it's really led to is a test of support, which it's supposed to do. So in essence, it's really bullish. But we can't call this bullish because we still have a top out there. So we're going to go more in kind of the neutral type sense, this sideways consolidation that's going on. On a weekly basis, as an example, G-Man, there is no top that's in place out here. Now, if price this week, uh, by uh, Friday, we're able to spike above this level here, this level being 384.30, then you could get a, you would get a TD9 count top for the weekly time frame. Short of that, inside the weekly chart, all you have is a consolidation with inside a profile. And we can also see, G-Man, that the push lower has always found support on the weekly chart, has found support of that green oscillator and change line. So it's bullish. It's absolutely bullish. And the monthly chart, is super bullish. It's uber bullish. Why? Well, the swing, it's taken out a couple of swing points. The first swing point that it took out was back in November of 2021, 509 uh, million shares. What we what was taken out was, was 564 million shares. Another swing point that formed out here in July of 2023, now that had 666 million shares. So that swing was not taken out with volume out there. But that's not the swing point that I would use for a large A to B equal CD pattern to the upside. I would be using this swing point, the one from October of 2021, because there was enough of a pullback, in fact, a pullback on a monthly basis that formed a TD9 count bottom right at its breakout level of support of 211.94. So it's such a large A to B equal CD pattern. The upside, there's no reason for me to put that in there. It's going to give us a price projection of somewhere around, I don't know, around uh, 250 on top of uh, three, 700. Six, seven hundred easily, something, something like that. So we're not going to do that at this stage of the game. We won't do that until the daily TD nine count roads momentum indicator top gets taken out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at Microsoft. In summary, you just have a good old fashioned consolidation on the daily time frame. The weekly, you've got some resistance, and the monthly is saying, "When you guys get your act together, I'm ready to run higher." And that's what the charts for Microsoft are telling us as of 11:33 in the morning. I do hope that that helps you out. The next request was to take a look at ENVX. So let's get over. Over and take a look at it and ENVX is trading at about I'm going to tell you exactly where it's trading so I get over to this chart here ENVX it's trading at my white background screen as you can say it's 1444 1435 now what it's doing is it did complete a sell the D point pattern we can see I've got that C to D leg uh, it gave us that price projection we got close enough to it and we formed a bear sash candle that was on December 18th just a couple days ago and that confirmed that sell the D point pattern so you know the routine here now this happens to be one of the routines where the oscillator and change line is below the support of its daily profile. It's a bullish structured profile. So price is traded into, today, ENVX, Jimmy, has traded into its buy zone. So it does have a top, but it also has a buy zone that's been established by those profile levels. That's between 1368 and 1405. So the resistance level still has to be taken out. And that's at the 1478 level, <coughs> excuse me, in order to negate its sell the D point pattern. All right, so it's got to sell the D point. What do we have on a weekly chart? The weekly chart is going to form bar number eight of a TD9 count this week. So that says you could see a top between this week and the next two out there. The monthly chart says I want to make a run for 2066. The reason it says I want to make a run for 2066 is because price is traded above the center of its bullish structured profile. That's at 1255. So again, we know it's not going to make a run to 2066 unless price takes out that sell the D point pattern, and that would require a close above 1478. So the weekly says caution. 
The daily says, I've got a sell signal. Right now, you just have to watch how price deals with support. Again, between 1368 and then 1405. And any close below 1368, you know the next area of support, and that would be at 1331. And of course, if that were to fail out there, then you're talking about getting back to its breakout level. And that's uh, about a 50% haircut. Not exactly, but it would get us back to eight dollars and seventy six cents. I am not making this call that this is headed back to eight seventy six. Again, it's progression. It's about understanding where support and resistance is, as well as the patterns that we take a look at. So that's what we see when we take a look at ENBX. Hope that helps you out. Jim had a couple more requests. One was for BYON. So let's get BYON up on our charts. Let's figure out what BYON is. I don't think I've ever looked at this uh, stock chart. Um, BYON helps me if I spell correctly. So what this is doing or what this has in store for it, it has two different topping signals that have been triggered today, Jimmy. The first is a bar nine of a TD nine count. And as long as price closes above, and it should be able to do that, as long as price today closes above 2506, you will get a confirmed TD nine count top. Now that top may not take place till tomorrow. That's when the pattern completes. You can also see that it has entered wave number seven. And wave number seven simply needs a lower high to confirm that pattern. It doesn't matter that we have two topping patterns. One is sufficient out there. So on our progression set of steps out there, where's the first level of support? Exactly. It's at 2445. So you, when you can read my charts by yourself by just popping up on the screen and looking at them, uh, that's, uh, that's power. So that's the first level of support. And then if price closes below that, we know the next levels of support are 2002, 1851, 1775, and below that, the breakout level of 1543. Even though it's got a topping signal, it's still neutral. It's above profile. It's above the green oscillator and change line. Now, the weekly chart for Beyond Inc. is going to form bar number seven. There's nothing bearish about it, suggesting it wants to get up to 3177. In order for that to happen, the TD9 count and wave seven tops will have to get negated. The monthly chart says I'm running right up into resistance, and resistance for it is the top of its profile. That's at 2684. So you got 2684 as a resistance level. You've got a... a um, You've got a uh, wave seven and a TD nine count top likely to form uh, today. Uh, complete that pattern, at least the TD nine count top uh, tomorrow. You should see a pullback out there. Uh, if the weekly chart is going to be correct, price will find support at that 2445 ish area and then move higher from there and negate the patterns. And then we're back on our way uh, towards that 3177 level. So that's what I see right now, Jimmy, on a very short term basis. By the way, I did notice here my eye caught this road momentum indicator signal that could complete at 12 noon. Right now, you've got a bearish reversal candle. Again, same set of progression steps. Where's the oscillator and change line? 2576. Where's support below that? 2558, followed by 2533, and finally 2454. So I hope that provided you with the information you were looking for on Beyond Meat. Let's go take a look at CWH out there. Let's finish this off. CWH, see if we can do this before the break. That happens to be Camping World out there. So when we take a look at Camping World, what is it doing? On this daily time frame, it's got a TD9 count top that formed out here on December 14th. Price has just been trading with inside the body that camp. That's really kind of bullish. Doesn't mean, Jimmy, that price won't pull back to where? Stevie's oscillator and change line. Printing that at 25.98. Below that, you'd have support at 25.15. And below that, the breakout level, 20.80. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60 minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30 day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. So we know the camping world I, uh, formed a, a TD9 count top out there. That's led to a sideways move. Price trading with inside its profile. Still hasn't really tested support, either 25.15 or 25.98. Weekly time frame chart, we don't see anything wrong with that. And on a monthly basis, what price is trying to do here, Jimmy, is get up to the 29.37 level. That is the top of its monthly profile out there. I don't see anything else out here. Well, let me take this back. Let me see. Do we look at the 30-minute chart? Can't recall. We're going to. We put this up on our screen. Yeah, there's nothing here that's really helping us out. So let's uh, ignore that for the time being. That's all I've got for Camping World. I do hope that that helps you out again. Just expect a bumpy ride at this stage until price can close above 2805 out there. Jimmy, thank you so much for those three requests. Much appreciated. Dan wants to take a look at uh, Micron. MU is the ticker symbol. So we take a look at Micron out here. What do we know? We know that it formed a Rhodesman to Indicator top. It did that four days ago. And that's when it formed that dark cloud cover candle out there. We also know that a new profile formed. That new profile has support at 79.99. We talked about price testing support when you form a top. Turns out today, price has tested both those levels of support, both the green oscillator and change line at 80.55, and the bottom of that profile at 79.99. So what that tells Stevie, what that tells us, what buyers and sellers are telling us is that that signal has now been neutralized. Why? Because the top has done its job. And that job? was to push back and test support. Now, if it could have busted through support, then we'd be looking at a move further lower. Where would that further lower move take us to? Now, I know some people might just say, let's go to that gap that uh, formed out there. There's a gap that we have out here. Price gapped up to the upside. Let me get my cursor. I can tell you what day that was. There's a couple gaps out here, but the one I'm referring to was from December 11th. But what Stevie would do, and certainly we can look at that, that gives us a range. That range would be at 76.97, <coughs> and 75.35. But what Stevie would look at is I'd look at the weekly chart, and I'd say, okay, the next area of support here on a weekly basis, even though we don't have any kind of a top, would be the oscillator and change line. That's currently at 76.60. It gets us down in towards that gap area as well. 
So, but that's not the that's not the message we have at 1144. But it is a message to be looking at in case price were to break through that support level. But that has not happened. The monthly chart is suggesting that Micron wants to make a move to 9407 out there, and that's the interesting thing, really, when we take a look at this because the semiconductor index. Let me see here. Let's do this. The semiconductor index has not generated a topping pattern. At least I don't think it has as of 1145 out here. What I mean by that is that's going to be the very right-hand chart. You've only got bar number seven that makes the high. Today's going to complete, in essence, the TD9 count pattern, but we need to see a spike above that. Is the market going to top without the semis topping out here? And there's an A to B equal CD pattern, the upside that extends beyond the high of where we're at. The other thing to be taking a look at, the XLY, by the way, that's a discretionary sector. That completed a TD9 count top yesterday. And the price closes above that high, which is 181.88. That negates that signal. And in the case of the XLK, in order to generate a TD9 count top, price has got to spike today or tomorrow above 192.80. <clears throat> it's hard for me to see the market really topping without those three things taking place out there, at least two of those three things taking place out there. So... Really, when we took a look at the chart there, Dano for Micron, that's what took me over there, was a take a look at the semiconductor index. Really, the Micron chart is kind of saying the same kind of thing, although we don't have a topping signal inside of the semis out there. Let's go. Uh, Rose wants to take a look at uh, SLCA. I believe that is the uh, silica, uh, the uh, sand uh, company out there. Uh, U.S. Silica Holdings. It's been a long time since we've taken a look, or I've taken a look at this. So what do we have out here? We've got a new profile that recently formed, and price is consolidating with inside that rose. You've got a support level. It's a very key support area. It's a strong bullish support area. That's between 1118 and 1129. The resistance level that price is trying to take out today is up at 1161. We're actually trading 1157 right now. So it could be you're just consolidating, or Silica is just uh, consolidating with inside those profile levels. If you do get a close above 1161 that would be a bullish outcome now that bullish outcome would then suggest price could be targeting the 1241 level 1241 is a td9 count breakdown area the weekly time frame chart says hey steve even if price can close above 1161 it's got resistance at 1178 and i would have to say rose that the weekly chart is correct so even if you get above that, you need to break or it needs to break. It needs to close above 1178 to then suggest that it's rally on. And rally on on the daily is 1241. On the weekly, it's between 1296 and 1369. And finally, 1405. On a monthly time frame chart, what Silica Holdings has done is pulled back into its bullish structured profile area. That's between $8, $10 and 1128 So that's what I see when I take a look at Silica. you got a consolidation with inside profiles. You need to see it close above 1178 to tell you once that make that move higher out there. Let's look at our next request. That's from NAPA, N-A-P-A. -A. And NAPA, N-A-P-A, -A, is us for Dan inside the Tiger's Den. That is the Duckhorn portfolio. Now, this is something Stevie can wrap his head around. If we go take a look at Napa, what this generated is a Rosemontum indicator signal, and it confirmed that with a bullish hammer candle a couple of days ago. Now what we have, it looks like, is an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. The B point out here, that's the trading day of December 14th, generated volume of 1 million shares. Now, so far today, you've done 164,000 shares in two hours of trading. So price is uh, not exactly, not say price, volume is pretty minimal compared to that swing point. But nonetheless, you close above that, that's still going to trigger an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside for Napa out here. So maybe it's not the Cabernet version. It's the Merlot version of uh, Duckhorn out there. I do like the uh, Duckhorn. It's not my favorite Merlot, but, you know, in a pinch, if that's what you're going to uh, drink, I'd rather stick with those Italian Merlots. I don't know about you, but Stevie would prefer to stick with the Italian Merlots. Now, this A to B equals CD pattern looks like it's just going to get us up into this uh, gap. The bottom of that gap level is up at the is down is at the 1004 area. Now, on a weekly basis, what uh, Duckhorn portfolio could be triggering is a beautiful Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom out there. And if it does that, what you should see here, Dan, is price go, uh, no, this is for Dan, should go target 1039 to 1075. And on a monthly basis, you've got a TD9 count bottom that is going to complete this month. So we like what we see here. you got a confirmed bottoming on the daily. You might get a confirmed bottoming on the weekly. That comes on Friday. And on the monthly chart, you've got a TD9 count bottom. We might have to put Napa on our list of stocks that should be owned out there. Thanks so much for taking a look at that, Dan, and bringing that to our attention. 
Uh, let's go take a look. You know, John C. wants to take a look at the rising volatility index out there. And uh, and that's a great question. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change screens out here, maybe change a couple of screens. I don't think I'd get all this done before the uh, break out there. But I'll show you what he's really asking about first, I believe. And I'm going to get back to a, a chart here that will take a look at that. And that is um, this chart here. So here I'm going to show you a number of different instances where you can see uh, where we have tops, where you have price rising. This is the S&P 500 that we're looking at the top. And if you look at the bottom, you saw a rising bottoms pattern on a closing basis. So I've got a few of those shown right here. Turns out that's a pattern that is in play right now. That remains in play, by the way, unless we see a close below 1207. Spot Volatinix right now is at 1234. We come back, we'll finish taking a look at that, and then we'll try to get to GDX and LBS real quickly for Hector and Nicholas. think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar, Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. .com. Welcome back. 
Welcome back, folks. So uh, John inside the Tigers Den was really kind of reading my mind, I think. What I started doing yesterday, uh, John, was I started taking a look at um, the instances when we had a rising spot volatility index and we formed a top inside of the market, the S&P 500 specifically out here. And what I found, because there's plenty of other instances when we have a rising uh, tops out here. Um, and uh, you know, so I can I can show you those, but I don't want to do that because I only have about a minute and a half left. So what I've started to identify is what was happening with the S and P 500. When do we actually see the top? It turned out that that rising uh, uh, spot volatility index was when we actually formed topping signals inside of the S and P 500. Here, back on the trade day of July 27th, it was a Rhodes momentum indicator top. We're now right now in the presence of forming a TD9 count top. If we pull this back further, let me try to do that here. Some of these other tops that we took a look at here is a Rhodes momentum indicator top with rising uh, spot volatility index. That's back on November the 20th. We had another one, wave number seven, a uh, top that formed out here. Uh, this is back on January the 4th, at the beginning of the year. So I think that this is more pertinent right now, the rising spot volatility index, and a reason for us to truly be on guard. Does it mean that it's going to turn into a top? But certainly for us to be on guard. Okay, real quickly, with regard to the GDX, Hector and uh, Patty, uh, the GDX is just simply consolidating with inside its daily profiles. You've got resistance up at the 3162 level and support at 3046 out there uh, price needs to take out the b point of an a to b equals c to the upside with more than 33 million shares that's the trading day of december 1st out there and finally with regard to las vegas sands lbs this is for nicholas Las Vegas Sands has found resistance up at its TD knockout breakdown level, 49.23. Levels of support are 47.71, below that 46.74 out there. Folks, thanks so much for joining me today. Please join me tomorrow, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. when I record the show. I'll try to make it as pertinent as I can for the 11 to noon time frame. Have a wonderful Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care.